here we are in advanced honeysuckle invasion. It gets above my head, eight feet tall, and it forms a small canopy in the forest. It shades out all of the wildflowers. So we can look underneath me, we can see that nothing but leaf litter is in the woods. And this is the condition of most of the woods today, unmanaged. And this is where exotic species can run like cancer across the landscape in these unmanaged forests. One of the niches that exotic species take is growing later in the season or earlier in the season. So here we are in the fall, but this would be true in early spring also, that we have bush honeysuckle. Things that are still green in November, nine times out of ten, going to be an exotic species. So these plants, they come in, they start earlier, they grow later. And that's how they make their niche, to out-compete all of the native species in the woods. We would bring volunteers into areas just like this, and where we see nothing today, we remove this honeysuckle and we come back in the spring to see displays of wildflowers that are still in the seed bank, but today not even present. If you're a homeowner, and you're on your own property and you start to want to deal with honeysuckle we see it in the early stages when it's two to three feet tall and these are probably two to three year old plants that have come in these we would cut with loppers treat with a 50 percent roundup solution or any other glyphosate product when we get to the larger we call this ground zero we can see some of the largest honeysuckle in the county. And here, probably 40, 50 year old honeysuckle. These we need chainsaws to get them down. We'll have to part them out, pile them up. And again, we treat that same stump with a 50% uh, Roundup solution. And that seems to be very effective during the growing season or while they still have green leaves. The early fall window is another great opportunity for us to be working in the woods treating these exotic species. The native plants have all gone dormant and so if we have overspray with products or chemicals they're not they're only treating or falling on exotic species. But when we get it open and back to balance where winds coming through, sunlight's getting all the way to the floor, then we get the woods back in balance and then Garlic mustard, honeysuckle, winter creeper have a very hard time even getting a foothold because of the mass native competition that we really